It's a snowy morning outside here. We're getting about four inches of snow. Um, it's light, fluffy snow. It's um, lake effect snow, kind of, is what we kind of call it here. Um, it's beautiful. It's really pretty. But it's a perfect day to put some flowers on the table because that's what we need to do. Um, I have, I, I, the other day, I cleaned up from having flowers in the house and cleaned all my vases and got everybody all cleaned up. I always take my vases to the sink. I wash them out with soap and water, make sure that they're all clean on the inside. It, and, and you know, that's kind of a little bit of a chore after the holidays because when we use evergreen and stuff, we do get some sediment that happens inside the vases. And that's always important to get rid of that because a clean vase is going to be a clean start for your flowers every single time. And so I haven't had flowers on the dining room table. I have a couple little floating ones on there right now, but um, from when I processed flowers the other day, but I, I, I miss though having those flowers on the dining room table because it's kind of the focus of the great room. And that's where we sit for breakfast. That's where we sit for dinner. That's where we sit for flower cocktail hour. And so I'm, I'm missing having those flowers there. And this is one of my favorite vases to have there. Um, you know, we've used it a lot here. But um, it's always about the flowers that go in it too. I do love that the vase performs well, but it's also about the beautiful flowers that we're gonna put inside it. And so I thought um, it would just be a great opportunity for us to, to make some pretty flowers in there and talk about some tips and tricks for those flowers uh, that are gonna make them last longer for us. And then also talking about the ritual of arranging flowers. Obviously I fixed my favorite beverage today. It was like, I was just a little cold because of the snow. So I made some tea. All right, so I have some um, ginger and chamomile tea, which is wonderful. And then, um, and you know, put on our favorite music. We wanna be present for our ritual of arranging flowers and how much fun we're gonna have when we do that. So um, when I was at the flower cellar the other day, I fell in love with these guys. Aren't they pretty? So they're really basically the inspiration for this arrangement. They are just a beautiful variegated tulip. And so I'm going to open up that sleeve. And I just use my knife to do that so that I don't tear it open. And I also, my tulips overnight straightened up and they started to get bigger and have more color in them. So um, I think that that's really important. I have one leaf on here that looks bad. So I'm gonna pull him off, get rid of him. There we go. Um, just look at though, yesterday, these were the pear tulips that I had yesterday. And, and look at, they've already colored up. They're getting a lot of their ruffles going and they're straightening up in my little vase over here. So I think that's good. So we're gonna be using our Dram Bypass Cutter and our Dram Compact Pruner. Um, and I'm just going to start with these tulips. And this is what I love about this container. It's got a nice little edge. It allows me to crisscross stems and start to build a structure. And I do love working on my turntable. Again, um, I got my turntable at Ikea. Uh, I like the wood ones more than the plastic ones because I think the wood ones are a little more durable. And we've got six in there, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. That means I got 11 in this bunch. That's awesome. No complaints here. All right, extra flower, right? Um, so I'm gonna add those other ones in a little bit, okay? So we're gonna let them sit right here as we add other flowers first. So then I think I'm gonna add I think peach and pink will be very fun together. So we're going to use these beautiful peach colored uh, stock. Now, I, I think it's, I was uh, sorry. It was making me think about a story. Um, you know, we've called this peach stock forever. And everybody now is calling it nude stock or, or cosmetic stock uh, because it's a cosmetic color, right? And so a little bud fell down into my vase. I didn't want that to be down inside there to cause problems later on. I'm pulling off any leaves that will fall below the water line. But I think, you know, those nude colorations and those beiges and things like that are so popular now. And so what we would have called peach stock is now being called, you know, nude, nude stock, 
nude stock. Uh, how about that? Sounds like Woodstock, right? Okay. There we go. Now again, notice I'm taking my time. Um, I think I think a lot about Bob Ross and painting with Bob Ross because um, he was just he was just so great at making us live in the moment and feel what's going on and enjoying it. And what's actually happening right now is my body is secreting endorphins that are calming me down, making me feel more zen-like, making me feel happier. And I want you to be present for that. When we're going through this ritual of arranging flowers, I don't want you to hurry so much all the time because if we hurry, we miss it. And I don't want you to miss that opportunity to have, have a little bit of fun with the flowers. And that's that's the name of my of my first book was Fun with Flowers because I truly believe that it should be fun. It should, you know, I know people who tell me, you know, oh, I got to go to work again and make flowers or, or oh, I had to throw together an arrangement. I was so nervous and I was so upset. You need to slow down. Okay. We need to slow down. We need to take in what's going on. We need to think about what we're doing. It shouldn't be something that's fast. It's, it's the same thing as cooking. When I'm cooking or I'm making a, a cup of tea as I made this morning, great, great. But boiling the water, steeping the tea, taking the time to enjoy those processes is super important. So I want you to remember that when you're working with your flowers. Now I got some of these, this peach hypericum too, which is just lovely. I just love that. Look at that. That's going to be perfect in here too. So I'm going to use my bypass cutter on this one rather than my compact pruner because these stems are a little bit more sturdy, woody-like. Okay. Hypericum is the fruit of St. John's wort, which is also an antidepressant. So I just being able to use those flowers in here is pretty fun. Remembering to remove anything that's going to fall below the waterline. And I'm kind of creative almost because you'll notice that I put my tulips in, then my stock. Now I've got those there. I'm going to trim off this little guy. He's not very pretty. There we go. So he doesn't fall in the water. And now I may go back in with these tulips. I think I'm just going to put them in the center because now there's a little bit more structure that's going to hold them in place. And again, that structure acts as our foam or our chicken wire. Um, you know, I will personally tell, I mean, I, you know, I'm not a fan of chicken wire because I grew up using chicken wire, okay? We had to use chicken wire in every arrangement that we made when I was a little kid. And my first job in the flower shop was bending the chicken wire and putting it into the containers and then putting in the other stuff. And, and you had to wear gloves or you'd get all cut up. You had to have tetanus shots all the time because and tetanus boosters because you were working with those, those crazy um, rusty chicken wire every day. So, you know... I guess maybe I've developed a way that we don't need chicken wire. We can use the structure of the flowers themselves, the stems, to help us create this beautiful arrangement. Now, let's see, somewhere in here is a, this was my Gerber Daisy from the other day. Okay, remember he had a little, uh, if you watch the, if you watch the, um, the, the, opening of the boxes, the processing of the flowers, I had to pull off some petals on this little guy. And so I'm going to slip that down inside there. And I'm going to grab a couple more of these Gerberas. I keep them in this package so that they don't get beat up and they stay straight. Okay. Now, you know what? I got this far in this whole arrangement and I forgot the other thing that I was going to do. This is just cold water inside here and it does not have my Chrysler Professional 3 in it yet. So, let's scoot it back to the edge of the table. Come back over here where I can get at you. I'm going to take it up to the edge. There we go. Got a pump in there. Sometimes I forget. It's all okay. You know what? The other thing I need too is I need the Chryso, I need the CBPN tablets, which are over here somewhere. Ha. Sorry, I left you for half a second. 
I'm back. These guys. Because I'm going to have Gerber's in here and I have stock in here. So I'm going to use one of my little CVBN tablets. Boom. Down in the center. So that it's going to help keep our bacteria level in check. So now I have this Gerber Daisy. And see how he has one little side that's gone because I had to take off those nasty petals. So I'm just going to lay in another one next to it. Now you don't know, right? Perfect. You have no idea. I just love these pink and peach tones together. So beautiful. Really pretty for us. See, now look at that. That's all coming together very nicely. Now let's see. I was going to look. Oh, okay. So I'm going to add a few peach colored carnations. And again, peach or nude, if you want to call them that, whatever color you want to, you want to call it, you know, they're like a, a cosmetic color, makeup color. I love this too, because I'm going to get different lifespans out of the different flowers I have in my container. So there's going to be waves. These carnations are going to be the longest lasting thing in the entire arrangement, right? And then um, the stock and the uh, tulips, maybe not as long. The beautiful hypericum, super long lasting, okay? I can use those maybe, you know, in a couple arrangements because they last so long. I just love having it on a turntable too, so that you can see all the different sides but I can as well okay and so just being able to spin it around and look at stuff is much easier than trying to twirl the arrangement around on the table there we go now my this tulip is a much better place now there we go okay now I want to show you something else that I'm really excited about I love these only a certain time of year we get them and they're so pretty but these are the butterfly ranunculus. Aren't those pretty? From our friends at Sun Valley. I love them because, A, they, every single one of these is going to open up. And this is yet another reason why I love using my CVBN tablets in here. Because these have a fuzzy stem as well. Those CVBN tablets help control the bacteria when we have a fuzzy stem, okay? I just love too that the other thing about these that is really cool is that they change colors as they open. They'll be, you know, lighter pink and then the, the color will, will evolve over a period of time and it'll look different. And these get almost like a little jeweled accent to the center of them. It's just so pretty. There we go. See, I think you can see on that one. That one has like a, it's, and you know, because of the lighting, sorry, and you know, we're at home, so we don't have our HD lighting and my lighting technicians and all that kind of stuff. These are, you know, these are the little things we do at home, just you and me. But this is a peachy color, and then it almost has a little burgundy center down in there, and it, and it has a great little um, accent inside there. Just so pretty. Just so pretty. And they come in a whole bunch of different colors. There's peaches and pinks, and um, there's reds, and there's burgundies, and there's yellows, and there's whites. They're just beautiful. They're just beautiful. And this is the time of year for them. They're only available for a period of time, and they last a really long time in our arrangements they're going to last a long period of time. I need one more stock, I think. And see, I think I need it right there. Okay. Better. Now, I've got flowers on my table. I'm going to feel better. I'm going to get to watch them and experience them. What's going to happen, too, you're going to notice that my tulips are down in there a little bit further. 
but I kind of purposely cut them a little bit shorter because what's going to happen is because they're phototropic, they're going to grow and they're going to get bigger and they're going to want to open up. So as they get a little bit longer in the next day or two, they're going to come out and fill in more and they're going to sit up on top of those other flowers. And I really like that. Then once the tulips fade, I can pull the petals off and leave the foliage or just pull the whole stem out and still enjoy my other really strong, vibrant flowers like my carnations and my butterfly ranunculus that are going to last a long period of time. But I'm assured because I've got my CBBN tablet down inside there to help us keep the keep the bacteria down. And we used our Chrysler Professional 3 in there so that we have plenty of food so that the flower is going to be beautiful. I'm looking right here just to see. Oh, he's okay. Okay. Just I'm always looking at him. I'm always going to go back and look at him and see what's going on with him. Final step, always. Uh, Chrysler Professional Glory. I'm going to mist it front and back. Okay, and just make sure that everybody's covered. Because with our dry temperatures inside the house right now, um, you know, just that, that a lack of humidity wintertime because we're running the furnace so much. I want to make sure that we use that so it's going to help everybody last as long as it possibly can. Okay, I hope you had fun with the flowers today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the subscribe button or ring the bell for the notifications so that you know that you're gonna get a notification every single time when we have a new video and you can check back and check out the other videos that are here too. If you're just new to joining us, we've got a lot of videos here on the YouTube website and of course, go to youbloom.com where we've got over 1800 different videos that are not on YouTube. Um, subscribers subscriptions are three dollars and 99 cents a month or 38 40 a year and right now with the at home stay at home orders we have a coupon code called 50 at home 50 a t h o m e and you can use that to get 50 percent off your membership so and then if you hit auto renew you'll keep it forever okay just a little hint all right so i hope you have a great day and continue to keep having fun with flowers take care